Well, we'd like to give our Redlands residents an urgent reminder that bushfire season has started, albeit early. Council has certainly done everything they can to be prepared with over 120 hectares of prescribed burning already completed and 23 new fire trails. And you will have seen across Queensland this last weekend, uh, there has been significant fires, a number of about 80 across the state. 33,000 hectares of, of land has been scorched in that event. Uh, so we are urging our residents to do everything they can do in their own backyard to be prepared with the onset of what will be three very dry months and perfect bushfire conditions. And in that preparedness, can we please ask you to check on your neighbours? Some elderly neighbours mightn't actually know what to do and perhaps you can help them with their debris. But please check your own yards as well. Council is going over our land yet again, but we ask you to also do your own backyards. And obviously the next three months will mean to be vigilant. We understand that in some of these fires across Queensland that they have been lit by young children. Uh, we're heading into a uh, school holiday period so not only do we want you to take care of your own backyard but keep an eye out for what might be suspicious behaviour. We have a beautiful city with lots of conservation land and we want to protect it as much as we can in this particular disaster prone environment with three months of dry weather ahead of us uh, and no rain in sight. So our website um, for information to be updated we have a dashboard it's disaster redland.qld.gov.au. Stay on, in touch with uh, 612 ABC should a fire break out, our Facebook site, the QFIS uh, Facebook site, Twitter, to be informed. But in the meantime, on your weekends, when you've got an opportunity to do what, what Councillor Boglari has asked you to do, um, please help your neighbours um, and your family be prepared for what will be a long bushfire season. And if in the case of an emergency, if you do see smoke or fire in one of our areas or in your own backyard, please ring triple O. That is the first thing to do is triple O. And if there is a fire in our area, we have an amazing setup with QFIS and they go through whatever local um, telecommunications tower there is. You don't have to be opted in. You will just get the message that there is a fire in that area. And that has been very successful with our past fires on Russell Island and also um, on North Stradbrokes. And in the short term, um, we are going to be adding fire education to every opportunity we have as councillors and as council to educate our community. So this weekend, we'll be over on North Stradbroke Island at Amity Point at the, at the uh, hall, the community hall. From around 10 o'clock, we have a we'll have a broader forum, but we will be focusing on fire management, and also on Sunday at uh, the Mount Cotton Community Hall because that is a volatile community for bushfire. We'll be there at 12 o'clock, giving information about bushfires, and then over to Maclay Island um, to the hall there at about 3 p.m. I believe. So, if you have an opportunity to tell this to your neighbours, get them along, do some work around your yard so that you can be completely informed, have your own bushfire survival plan on hand, uh, and we look forward to working through with you over this next three months where we think will be a bit of a challenge for all of Queensland, but we know our Redlands residents are the best at being prepared. Yeah, that's what all the message is, be prepared.